What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are starting the video off in a secret underground bunker. And I'm not even lying, check this out. Well, we've got a nice little sunflower here, right here. And then we got some seats and then wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bam! Check this out. Oh, 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 there's even Travis's dog right there. Hey buddy. How's it going? Okay, cool. But as you guys can see, we are in fact in a pit. If you guys remember last year, I went out with pit properties in Fergus Fall, Minnesota and did some hunting. Well, guess what? They somewhat must have not hated me so much that they invited me again today. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be doing some goose hunting in the pits. Uh, this is probably gonna be one of the last hunting videos that I post this year because all the birds are starting to push out here. Cold fronts are coming in, everything's locking up, and a lot of those birds are heading south. But no, actually, like, don't know how many more hunts we're gonna get on, so I'm super, super happy that Pit Properties hooked me up today. If you guys wanna check out a hunt, it'll be linked down below. Make sure to come here and do it. You get an awesome time, you shoot a bunch of birds, you stay warm, and you get to eat some awesome food and meet cool people. So you got this bougie area over here, as you guys can see, then you pop up right here and go, surprise, mother truckers. And then, there's all the homies right there. And we're randomly in a freaking cornfield. And then we'll go back in the pit here. Bam, just like that in the pit. Well, we made to the kitchen area. We got this, oh, look at this sexy thing right here. That is beautiful. And we got the cooktop, little garbage here. Stuff to store, more storage. That's where I was, I was down there. And then this is the other side. And then if you guys remember Travis, look like a fire breathing demon, dude. Look at that. <laughs> but Travis is here again, helping us out. Are you gonna cook some, some good food today for us? Well, it depends on what your uh, perception of good is. I like it. Well, last year you made some pretty good wieners, so. Uh, I got, I brought those just for you today. Ah, oh, perfect. Yep. So that is what this side looks like. Uh, pretty conventional pit, two sides of it, and then the breakfast area right here where you can stand. We got a bunch of shooters, and we even have another special guest, unfortunately. I'll stop being lazy for two seconds to get out of the pit and show you what it is before I show you the special guest. So this is the spread right here. They got some full bodies. And then that is where the pits are. 13, 14, you can hunt 14 out of this. And then we got this guy right here with us this morning. Unfortunately, if you guys know him, you should probably unsubscribe to him. Luke's out here, he hunts with these guys a lot. But we're going to get in the pits. These birds have a little later flight, beans that it is late season. Uh, they kind of feed from around 10 to 11 and then in the afternoon, like one to two. So it's gonna be a waiting game, but when you're in the pits, it's always a good time. I do wanna mention guys, when I woke up this morning, the first thing that I looked at was my OnX app. I actually checked the weather for this exact location that we're at. And it gave me a bunch of things. It told me where the wind was, how cold it was gonna be, the moon phases, all that good stuff. You can use it for hunting or fishing or any other thing. So I just thought I'd give that a quick little tip in there. If you guys want to check it out it'll be linked down below uh, on x is a very very good gps hunting app and it's a tool that you can utilize to kill a lot of birds i'm sure all these pit property boys they definitely have on x so go check it out in the link below if you click the link down below you'll actually be able to save 20 percent off a yearly membership so definitely do that so you can save some money but we're gonna get in the pits here wait for some birds you guys stay tuned hopefully we can get them Well, Travis, what's on the breakfast menu today? Breakfast menu will be bacon, got some sausage patties, we're doing a little French toast, and some hash browns. Oh my god, you actually go hard. Yeah, we're going. Hey, oh, and you even, let me see your, uh, oh, look at that. It's got a nice little apron. Yeah, this was this was made by that other group that uh, y'all hunted with that, that one here, the dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dog training people, they made Dang. me this. Travis is making some food here. Oh, what's up, Luke's, you YouTuber? Luke's coming to leech my footage, and yeah, life is good. Nobody thinks it's coming. Yeah, we went last year between uh, 
Oh boy, we got some food. We got the French toast, bacon, some snossages, and my favorite, the old hash brown. Go for a little taste test here. Oh yeah, that French toast is fire. Bacon's good. We're just trying a little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, so good. This is so awesome, guys. It's so nice being warm, eating nice food while we're waiting for geese because, like I said, these geese are probably going to fly a little later. But if you have something like this, no problem waiting them out. But we're going to continue eating here. Travis is dishing out some more food. You guys stay tuned. Hopefully these geese fly. I can't hit anything, bro. Well guys, we just started having some geese fly. They're all coming off uh, the roost right now. And it just got hectic there, man. It got hectic. We had some two packs coming in, and then we had a bunch more coming in. Um, man, I am just shooting really bad, guys. I haven't shot in a little bit here, and it feels a little bit foreign right now, so I gotta figure it out. I think I shot a couple though, but man, need to clean that up. Geese are doing it pretty good though. Retrieving birds right now. I'm gonna switch up the spread a little bit and uh, wait for more of these birds to fly. You guys stay tuned. It's a good time though. Go that was good. Me. That was good. They set up pretty nice. Those ones came from behind us. They did a couple 360s and the boys got three more down. There's a lot Jeez. of birds flying right now though, dude. There is, yeah. There's a lot of geese out right now. Yeah. I think so. I think you did too. <laughs> Well, more chaos just happened. We had a bunch more geese flying, 
and uh, I shot a couple times and then I actually held the camera so some of that footage I filmed so I can't say I completely leached um, <laughs> but that four pack did it gnarly they did it right in our kill hole probably like 10 yards away from us Luke I'm pretty sure doubled up on his first shot and all of those geese died we got all those birds back in the blind now we're gonna sit here a little longer and keep grinding man this late season stuff it's fun especially when you can stay nice and warm in the old pits Luke have you been fun so far that's for, dude I'm having a ton of fun the last uh i guess the last couple goose hunts that i've been on have been a little bit slow i think the last hunt we were on we shot maybe 12 or 14 geese but we had to work for them so these things just started flying about i don't know an hour ago maybe and we have like eight or ten birds down already and the, the few birds that have been coming in have been doing it very nice so hopefully this keeps up this is a awesome day so far Well, I picked up the gun again, guys, and a little two-packer came in. No clue where they were. Just popped up, looked for a bird, shot, and had a really easy shot, like 10 yards. So we love that. The birds are just absolutely rolling still. I can't believe they're still rolling. There's got to be a big-ass roost over there, but we're going to get back in and hope for the best. Jam, no. I think we need a dog, yeah. Uh. Good shot. Good shooting, boys. John, <laughs> yeah. are you not ready? No, I wanted the guys to shoot. They clapped, bro. <laughs> no, you they didn't were, need me. They didn't need me, you dude. You were not ready. Okay. He's like, okay. Kilo. Okay. <laughs> I was not ready, but they didn't need me because they shot all of them. <laughs> Quill. 
Is that a quill? Did that look like a quill? Yeah, kind of. Well, boys, I just shot the last two birds to uh, end the day, and you that's our limit. You greedy son of a gun. What did I, what am I? You greedy son of a gun, John. Just kidding, good shooting, though. I'm glad you finally hit something today. <laughs> he's so right, dude. I was shooting so, <laughs> he's so right, dude. I was shooting, like, butt cheeks today. That's why I was like, Luke, just give me the camera, and I'll hold the camera for us. So, anyways, we ended up limiting. Uh, we're going to pick up now and get everything taken care of. And I'll show you guys the, the old pile here in a second. There we go, the last one. Check her out, boys. Not bad, had a double stacker. Look at that. Did you have a good time today? Hey, I did. How many did you, have, how many did you shoot? Probably my limit. Probably your limit? Dang, yeah. bro, nice. Well, hold, you might be my good luck charm, so next time we come out here, maybe I'll come out with you. We'll All shoot right. my limit, okay? All right. All right. Well, guys, the wind's absolutely blowing out here. Obviously, we had an awesome time. Huge shout out to Pit Properties. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up inside so I can actually get my thoughts together and be warm. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Had an awesome hunt. One of those things. 75 years later. Whew. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's probably been like, I don't know, a week or so since I last did this hunt. And I'm just now doing the outro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Huge shout out to Pit Properties and Onyx for helping out for this hunt. It was an awesome time. And honestly, that might be my last waterfowl hunt of the year. I may have a couple things uh, up my sleeve still where I could go south or travel to some other region of the United States to hunt. But I think around this area, I'm probably gonna call her quits and just pick up the little short rods and do some more rice fishing. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us through this whole waterfowl season. Had an awesome time uh, from early season teal to late season honkers to October mallards. Just was an awesome time. Drop a comment down below and let me know what was your best hunt this year or just your most memorable hunt. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one.